All right, what is going on party people? We're gonna do this slightly different today. Uh, we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, gonna to go to Paula Dean's. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I tried to get some nighttime footage here in Pigeon Forge at the island. They had all of their Christmas decorations up. So you can actually see how it looks. I did record all of this on the Pocket 3. Um, actually recording this voiceover screenshot on the Pocket 3. You can see Margaritaville. We're going across the bridge here. Fun fact is the only free parking you're ever going to get in Pigeon Forge is either you park outside of a restaurant or a store. The best thing is the island has a huge parking lot. I mean, it's massive. They actually have a trolley that you could see there. All of the Christmas decor is out now. It looks really, really nice out there. The low light capability of this Pocket 3 is quite amazing. I didn't even take my larger camera, my ZV-E1 with the 20 millimeter lens because I really didn't need it. Plus I wanted to go pretty stealthy. We're actually surprising our sister-in-law. It's her birthday. Everybody wish her a happy birthday on this. Here's the uh, Ferris wheel here. As you can see, I did have this on D-Log, did not have this on nighttime mode because it's more grainy on nighttime mode as I noticed. And we're walking up to Paula Dean's restaurant now. But as you can see, all of the wonderful Christmas lights. So it looks really, really nice. Here's outside of the restaurant and we will go into the intro now. Yeah, party people. I'm waiting for the surprise bitch part. Are they upstairs already? Okay. I'll be ready for it, don't worry. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, we are at uh, Paula Dean's. Look how cool that looks. Oh. All you can eat. So. What? Uh, right now. Like, we'll get to a table and we'll talk. It normally takes like two hours to get in here. It normally takes like two hours, which is, I'm really shocked to get in here. I know. What are you? Oh, I was like, you got caught. Okay, the, here's the menu. We did get the Georgia. It is $28.99. You can slow down the recording and look at the menu yourself. We're just talking about a sheriff's birthday, which is today. Paula Dean's restaurant is on the second floor. You can't really miss it in the island. Here is a good screenshot of everything. We were gonna do the Albany, but if we need to go up to the oh, he's asking. sure we at least need to oh, do the Yeah, he wants meatloaf. So we're yeah, gonna say meatloaf. Meat okay, great. Beef pot roast. I really want, I really want the chicken and dumplings. Okay, there's three. So let's just do the three. Is there a three? Yeah. What about the fried chicken? No, it's not original. We'll do the four. We'll pour into the chicken and that's all there. Two more dollars. Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Chicken and dumplings and fried chicken. And then for the sides, we'll do the green beans. The green potatoes. The mac and cheese. Oh, and a cream corn. Yeah. This biscuit is going to be great. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> this is probably the best part right here. The best part. I know, but. 
down at the end. What do you think? We got green beans, more fried chicken, mashed potatoes, pot roast, rice, meatloaf. Whatever that is that. Corn. Corn. It's cream corn. Mac and cheese. Chicken dumplings. I thought you didn't like chicken dumplings. I know. Fried <laughs> chicken. It's like just southern good food, you know? Better than last time. I'm in it. Alright. That's not a bad time. We're good. There was a lot of talking here. Here is some meatloaf. It really was not the best. I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. It was kind of gummy. The macaroni and cheese here, also not the best, but still good flavor profile. He's trying to convince me that we need to see some cedar. And he was like, I just wanted to get it to see the bigger gummy. He's like, I'm going to go around the These are the best things ever. Now, how do you feel about these green beans? Listen, these green beans are the best green beans I've ever had in my life. You think so? Are you going to eat them out of there with a spoon? It's not a soup. Oh, yeah, this is at my house. So. Yeah, it is. There, does it have bacon in it? I think it's going to be bacon. And bacon. You got bacon, red potatoes. You're basically trying to think it's a soup. We did end up just getting a second order of pretty much everything just because we had such a large party. It's still great Southern food all around. Chicken dumplings. I really think I did, but I could have not have. I think you're just used to eating my chicken dumplings. Because they're not bad. It's kind of salty. The pot roast is really salty. The pot roast is really salty. Yeah. But it tastes really good when you mix it with the rice. Michael, what's your favorite? Gooey, gooey butter cake. So the final overview for Paula Deans, we've been here like five times. So the first time was the best time. The qualities kind of went down, but that's probably true for anything in COVID. Uh, there's multiple locations, Vision Forest, Myrtle Beach, somewhere in Alabama somewhere in Missouri, Branson, Nashville, Tennessee. The menu basically is you get to choose two or four side or four main entrees, then you get four sides on each one. They're all separately named the Albany, which has two home dishes, four sides, the Savannah, which is three big dishes, four sides. And then the last one's the Georgia, which is the four big dishes and the four sides. They all vary from price. I'll put the menu somewhere on here so you can look at it again. Uh, we did end up getting the fried chicken, the beef pot roast, the chicken and dumplings, and the meatloaf, and our sides were the green beans, the cream potatoes, the baked mac and cheese, and the cream corn. Uh, if I had to rank all of these, the fried chicken was a lot better this time. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. The pot roast, overly salty. If you mix it with the rice, it's very, very good. I'd probably get a 7 out of 10. Chicken dumplings, very good for southern chicken dumplings. I think we're just used to homemade chicken dumplings, so give it a 7 out of 10. And the meatloaf was probably the worst. I'd probably give it a 4 or 5 out of 10. It's kind of gummy, very ketchup-y, but some people like that. Green beans, amazing, had bacon in it, red potatoes, lots of butter, 10 out of 10. Cream potatoes, better than usual, 8 out of 10. Cream corn was everyone's favorite. I'm not a big corn person, but everybody loved that, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. And the last one is the baked mac and cheese. Honestly, I've had way better mac and cheese before, so I'd probably give it a 5 or 6 out of 10. Either way, like, comment, subscribe. We did this for um, our sister-in-law's birthday, my sister-in-law's, the Sheriff's. So happy birthday. Uh, I will do some more food reviews, see how the Pocket 3 does. We're going on a cruise in like two weeks, so stay up to date with that one. I'll have that one out here in a few weeks. Bye, party people.